Like, how do I get the care? I, I don't know. So, um, yeah. So that's, so there you go. It's, I'll come back in three months and it'll be something else humiliating. Um, but, uh, where was I going with that earlier? I was saying, uh, I don't have kids. I, that's not totally true. I have a child. Well, he's not. I, I sponsor a child, so like, he's mine. I mean, I think I understand how it works. And I have this little boy uh, living in El Salvador, which is, works great for me, because I don't have to deal with him at all. But I can kind of check in on him, because he, he belongs to me, which is, which is great. It's awesome. And um, here's the thing about this little guy, and I've thought about this for days, and I don't know the right way to say this, and I apologize, I think you're going to be really disappointed in me, but I'm just going to sort of put this out there. I'm, uh, I'm sponsoring this child, and I, I, I just don't think I'm getting what I'm paying for. <laughs> you know, I, it's like, I, I give this little guy some money, and every month he sends me like a picture, you know, of like trees, and like a stick man with like a nose who's like waving, or like having a seizure, I'm not... 100% sure what's happening in the, in the picture, and I just, I'm confused because, I don't know, like, you know, I get a picture and it's like a house with smoke coming out of a chimney, and I'm like, don't draw my life, okay, draw your life, like, that's what I see every day, like, I, I want some local art, do you know what I mean, like, and I, I just think, you know, he's not spending any time on these pictures at all, which, which, Myself, I look at this picture and I'm like, oh, you didn't, it's a bird, I, I think, but you didn't stay in the lines, and, and I, it just feels like not a good investment for me right now. Like, I like to sort of have this conversation with him. And, like, would it kill him to sort of get a thank you card together and get all the kids in the village to sign it and send it by way? I mean, I guess it's manners. I think I was raised, I was raised a little more conscientious. Um, but. <laughs> I've written notes on my hand, and it's four words. That doesn't help me when I forget my next line. Um, hmm. Oh yes, oh yes, okay. So, so I started to think about these pictures, and it's frustrating that it's not what I wanted. And I realized, uh, you know, he used to send me letters. And the letters were, were pretty cool, little letters. This eight-year-old kid, he's very articulate. And I took Spanish, right? I, I can write back to him, I comprehend the end, the end of I, you know, I can do Spanish. So I wrote him this letter, and he immediately switched me, uh, he immediately started sending me pictures. And so I dusted out my old uh, Spanish dictionary, which I have not used in 10 years, including during the writing of this letter. And I think the results were very revealing, so if you don't mind, um, tables in the back, or hanging on every word, uh, I'm just going to read the letter, because... I think that's very revealing. Okay, so here's a letter that I wrote uh, in Spanish and then translated after I'd already sent it. Uh, Dear Ever, how are you? It's good, strong. Strong beginning. It's a good letter. Yeah, it sort of sent a strong, you know, you know why. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, my Spanish is very pregnant. Obviamente, which does not translate. Uh, not a word. But you can see that already from this little fart. And I, I think that I meant no. I'm not, I'm not sure. What old are you? The, and then it takes a strange turn. The animal drinks seawater deliciously. I don't know what I'm saying at this point, but the reading level has jumped significantly, and I'm interested to hear more. So go on. Uh, I like colors. Right back to where I started. Why is the phone number that we would wish to be is your favorite? Still waiting for an answer on that question. Uh, I am a library. Well, good beans ever. And then I end with this. Uh, enjoy fun. Because it's impossible not to. I felt that I needed to instruct him to enjoy fun. So it's pretty clear what happened. Uh, this eight-year-old boy read my letter and said, this man is a complete moron. 
and he downgraded me to basic shapes and primary colors. Um, I, uh, let's see, what other stuff do I do that's really good? I, I, uh, I actually, I give blood, that's something else that I do, and, uh, so, you know, that's, that's just two things right there, I mean, I do all sorts of great things. For the people, I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, uh, uh, sponsors a child, gives blood? This is, uh, this is a great person. This is a phenomenal individual. Stop it. It's not, stop it. It's not like that. Like, I, I care. I care. But I mean, like, do I care more than anybody else? Like, that's, don't, you're embarrassing me. Like, I just, I'm doing my part. Like, there's no scale for this sort of thing. You know, like, I, I do a lot. I do a lot. So, and I think that, um, I think that I speak for everyone in this room when I say uh, that the American Red Cross uh, has got to be stopped. Yes? Can we talk about that place? Uh, that would have taken half the time if I had my phone, but it felt kind of dramatic, didn't it? Like, I was going to say something for real now. The American Red Cross, let's talk about that place. It all starts innocently enough with a simple prize system in exchange for human blood. And we think to ourselves, I can get a free slice of pizza at Papa John's in exchange for my blood? Next thing you know, we're saying, you're telling me I can get ski lift tickets for my blood? I'm talking about the blood trade. Okay, here's what's going on. The American Red Cross is a great place, but things have really changed. They've lost their way. They're getting weird, okay? It's getting weird because they're offering prizes in exchange for human blood, which, let's face it, if you went to that Chuck E. Cheese, you'd be like, get me out of here. This is not okay. Um, Pause for a moment and correct my thoughts. Um, yeah, so here's the thing about the blood trade, and I hate to say this, but it's, uh, it hits close to home for me. It really does. My, my girlfriend uh, is obsessed with the prize system at the American Red Cross. It's, uh, it, she says she's checking her email, but she's on the website trying to see what this month's prizes are. It's a problem. Thankfully, this month it's a can of salsa, so things have kind of calmed down for the moment. Uh, I went over to see her recently, and I stopped by unannounced, um, which makes me sound weird, but not that weird. And, and, uh, and I, I came in uh, to see her, and I said, uh, how you doing? What have you, what have you been up to? And she's like, nothing. That's interesting. Uh, listen, I don't, it's a weird question, but have you, um, have you given blood today? No, 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 I, I haven't, I definitely haven't. Well, again, that's interesting. Um, I'm curious where you got that tiny little mini can of V8. Interesting, where'd you get that? Oh, um, well, it has, uh, it's rich in antioxidants. Great, well, that's, uh, that's good that it's rich in antioxidants, because you're going to need that to counteract the uh, Oreo cookies smeared all over your mouth. Listen, I gotta say, between the crushed up juice boxes and the empty lawn and doom wrappers, looks like a third grade lunch hour in here. I know, but they give away free movie tickets. Listen, I'm worried about your health, okay? You can't keep giving blood like this, it's not... Did you say they give away free movie tickets? And just like that, another life is destroyed by the American Red Cross. Now when they call me up and ask for, uh, try and book me for a blood appointment, I can't say no, because I want those free movie tickets. Uh, Tanya calls me up to Red Cross and says, can I fit you in in, in uh, May? And I go, May, May. I'm uh, running the marathon that day, but uh, I could probably drop off a few pints in the morning. <laughs> it's sad, because I'm sort of like, hoping you'll laugh, you know? And it's like, <laughs> it's like my ninth show. Just, I should be beyond this point, but... Obviously, you've been to those eight shows, which were awesome or hilarious. Um, I opened for the opener, but I think people remembered me, you know, later. I think they talked about me. Um, okay, final thing. Let me tell you one more story. Um, I'm, a, I'm a lot 
like some of you, when you meet somebody new, I, I get nervous. I'm, uh, I'm shy. I'm shy person.